why I'm checking in to check it out. So, today we're going to talk about serial daters, serial monogamists, you know, people who just always dating different people all the time, you know what I mean, or always just jump straight into a relationship every time, that kind of thing, eh? you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I, I just, I see it a lot, I've been seeing it a lot lately, right, okay? And obviously, where do people like to broadcast most of their, you know, their dirty laundry or, where do people like to broadcast most of their, whatever they're getting up to? It's gonna be Facebook, it? you know? Now, I don't really use Facebook like that no more. I only go in there to post things about the scandemic, and that's about it. But obviously, once you click on there, yeah, once you click onto it, like just pe pictures of people gotta come up. You get me? Yeah. So I go in there, bro. I'm like, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing these dudes, bro. Like, I'm just thinking. I'm seeing like, there's, there's a few in particular. I don't even need to mention anyone's name, bro. Get me, bro. There's no need for that, bro. Go in there, bro. Like every fucking. Every other, every other fucking, every other month, bro. Like this fucking, this dude's posting pics up next to girl. You know, like he's dating or saying he's in a relationship. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Like what the fuck? Like what? Like is is, is something missing, bro? And the same goes for fucking women, bro. You know, there's certain women out there. We were posting pictures, yeah, of next man. If, if you're not on their Facebook or on, on their WhatsApp or whatever, bro, and uh, next, a, a different man like every other two weeks, bro. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I'm thinking, oh, these people got fucking issues, man. Like, like severe issues. You get me? Like, it's fucking so. Are these people got fucking issues, bro? Like, because I know sometimes certain things can, be, you know, you know, tell a lie, right? You know, when I was a bit younger, I used to jump from like relationship to relationship sometimes, or date one girl, whatever. You know what I mean? I used to do all that kind of thing when I was younger, bro. You get me? But that was young. I was young guy. You know what I mean, that, that was way. That was way before we get me, but I'm thinking now, are these people got serious issues, bro? Like, like, could, there is a thing where some people don't like them, like they didn't get enough attention at home from their mom, from their dad. Like, let's say, like the, the girl, let's say a girl didn't get enough attention from their dad, or a guy never got enough attention from his mom. This, this shit's real. This shit's real. Like, this is a real thing, bro. Like, this is something like, like. Not to be like laugh that in a way, like because this is genuine. Like people do have these issues, got have gone on. Get me, yeah. But then again, that's just part. That's just that might, that might be one reason. But again, another reason is that these people are serial daters or serious relationship poppers, bro. That's what they do. Just like they can't be by themselves, bro. Get me? They can't do it. They have to go head first into another relationship and post it, post it all up everywhere, right? And I'm thinking, really? Like what? Like as a man, okay. So if a man's posting up different pictures of a different girl all the time and saying he's in a relationship with him and whatever, okay. What 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 are you trying to prove here? Like, are you trying to prove? What, are you trying to prove you're a ladies' man? Are you trying to make all oh, your ex-girlfriends? Uh, Jealous and stuff like that, you know. But like, what, 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 what's the end game? Yeah, what, what, what's the end game? You know, it's got to be, you know, what is it? You know, so, so it's gonna be one, of, you know, it's gonna be one of these, it's gonna be one, one of these few, few things. It's gonna be if you've had some neglect in your, in, in, in your childhood, whatever, or your serial data, your serial monogamist, as in you, you're jumping to. You know, you'll see you jump into a different relationship all the time, or you decide to, I don't know, 
just show everybody that you've got it and um, you're you're wanted. Everybody wants me. You know, it could be that as well. So it could be a host of different things, you know. But it's just kind of sad, man. Like, and it's worse. Like I can't, bro. It's what it's one thing a man doing it, yeah. Because men, men, men have this thing in it where men have this stigma about how men all just go fuck anything and do anything. There is truth to that. There is some truth to that. Yeah. So, in a way, for a man to do it, it's it's still bad, but not as bad if a woman was to do it because. If I'm seeing a woman constantly posting different men up on their Facebook here, yeah, saying, saying, ah, oh, this guy's great. I mean, just, this guy, this guy's, this guy's um, the guy for me. I'm in a new relationship. Blah blah blah. Next month later, po do, does the same thing with another guy. Three weeks later, posting a more picture with a different guy and all this stuff, bro. Like that, you that makes you radioactive. Like I don't want to know And And there's some men out there Who do know What a woman's like They do know it. They do know They have been Some of these women Go from relationship to relationship And they still deal with them Yeah That says more about the guy Than it does The woman To be fair Because I wouldn't be doing that But If I was to see a woman Doing that bro Like and then, and let's say let's say I knew obviously I knew that and they try and come to me like nah like over there like I don't want, I don't want no parts of it don't want no parts of it because I know because clearly there's something amiss inside of you where you feel the need to constantly be with different men all the time like you know these people yeah well I don't know what it is like let's say one man fucks up. It might not even be anything major, bro. Yeah? And then they'll be off straight onto the next man, bro. Well, you know, all you gotta do is fucking breathe the, the wrong way and they'll be straight onto the next man. You know what I mean? Or, you know, whatever. These women, like, nothing's good enough for these women, bro. They've got, they've got, they've clearly got some sort of deep issues, yeah? Again, the issues what I covered before, what went over. And they can't just stay from, you know, they can't be alone. You know, a lot of these women can't be alone or they need constant validation, they need constant attention, constant reassurance. Again, these same traits apply to some men. Some men need constant reassurance and constant, um, yeah, constant reassurance. Uh, or basically what I just said a minute ago, I forgot. Yeah, constant reassurance, um, constant attention, all that so it's not just relegated to women on that part men men there's some men out there who need it as well and like i just i just think man like i look at that i just think wow wow like it's actually kind of embarrassing like i can't be the only one who thinks that but when i see shit like that i can't be the only one who thinks that i can't be the only one thinking like what the fuck why is this person always got different men why this person all got different women, man? Like, what the fuck? Like, it's different if, like, someone was a celebrity or some shit. These people ain't no celebrity, bro. You know what I mean? They're not celebrities. And, uh... I just think, man, bro, that's, that's like... Sad. That's real sad, man, you know? That's real sad. And I can't, you know... Looking at it now... Looking at it... From, you know... From that point of view... I can understand if you know if a woman knows your knows part of your history. Let's say you know, let's, say, let's say she knows you've been out with a lot of different women. Yeah, I can understand why certain women would try and would avoid you. You know what I mean? They might be thinking, Nah, I'm not gonna be another one, another another notch on his bedpost. You know what I mean? Because he'll just swing it bored and fuck me or whatever. I, I can understand. I get it. I actually fucking get it. You know, but as any level-headed man, as any level-headed man, if you was to see a, a woman doing that, right, constantly posting up pictures of different men in relationship to another relationship, 
you don't want to go anywhere near that bro save yourself the hassle don't go anywhere near those kind of fucking women bro get me because these men and women are fucked up in the head bro they're fucked okay you know you see it's just like a scream of attention it's just like a, it's a scream of attention man these women are these women and men are fucked up trust me so they can't help themselves bro like like these people don't know what it's like to be by themselves like they can't chill by themselves to get me like wow because that's the reason why i've done this video now i just literally just went on facebook now to post something and i've just seen this dude who was uh, <laughs> he, uh, I'm, I'm never gonna go into the details man but obviously i know who to do it is anyway and he's, he's recently split up with an ex that i know who I know, well, an ex that I know, who, I know his ex. Then he split up with another ex that I knew as well. Now it's with somebody. <laughs> I just think, I just think, I just think, bro, sort that shit out, man. You women out there need to sort that shit out. You women out there need to sort that shit out, man. You need to, you need to just take some time out, man, and learn to. Just chill by yourself. Yes, you can probably, you know, I'm not saying don't talk to no man. You can entertain a man. You can entertain a woman. You can talk to him. You get me? Doesn't mean you have to go ahead, go straight into a relationship with them, bro. You don't have to do, you don't have to do that, man. Honestly, you don't. That's what to see about. But yeah, honestly, you don't need to do that. Like, just relax. But that's the problem, though. These people don't realize what they're doing. They don't realize what they're doing, okay? So, what they think they're doing is normal. And, and that's just, hey, that's just some people for you, man. Honestly, it's like, you know, when it, like I was saying, it, it's just, it really is pre, it's really is sad, you know, it, it's just sad. It's sad and embarrassing. Because no level-headed person can look at what these people these people do and think that's fucking normal, bro. Think it's normal or, res or respectable. No, it ain't. It ain't any of that. Okay? So... Just be careful, man. You, you, you get involved with, bro. Get in, be careful you get involved with, okay? Try and find out their dating history if you can. And if they're still, you know, bed hoppers or relationship hoppers, just stay away from them, bro. Just stay, the, just stay the fuck away from these people, bro. All right. And with that, I'm out.